Actually, Hiranyakashipu had everything, but even then he was not satisfied, right? That is because he had uncontrolled mind and senses. So the issue in material world is uncontrolled mind and sense, mind and senses. Oftentimes we may think, if I get this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, I'll be happy in the life. But even if you get those things, or even if you don't get those things, point is, as long as we have uncontrolled mind and senses, we will never be happy. You know, because as soon as we accomplish something, mind will say, oh, that is remaining to be achieved. Then you achieve that mind, say, that is remaining to be achieved, like that. So it is always running for that which is not there in the hand, right? If you ask mind, what is the ideal situation? Mind says, the situation which you are in, that is not ideal. Anything else is ideal. That's the nature of the mind. The current situation is not ideal, so change it. <laughs> then you will be happy, you know. So, actually, that's, that's the reality. We have to see that our satisfaction in material world, our satisfaction in this world, depends on not what we have or what we don't have, but what we are looking for in our life. What are we looking at? That will determine the happiness. If we are looking at material objects, no matter what we have or don't have, we will still be miserable. If we look at, you know, spiritual objects, if we look at devotional service and service opportunity, then actually, irrespective of fulfillment of material desires, actually we will uh, experience a great satisfaction. So, this is the nature of the world, you know. We, we shouldn't actually get too much bothered. Sometimes desires may be fulfilled, sometimes desires may not be fulfilled. We can try. Uh, for fulfillment of our desire so that you know we can be stably situated in devotional service But even if they don't get fulfilled, you know, we go on go on with devotional service, you know, we don't uh, uh, We don't get demoralized or we don't get morose, right? Suppose you are going on a, a Road and then you find that too much traffic is there. You know, you want to go to a particular destination But you see just just too much of traffic then you may try for another route, you know, so that you can actually continue going like that. But then if you see that there is a very smooth, clear road, but that is not taking to the destination, it is taking opposite to the destination. Will you take that road? Just because it is smooth, you know, not much hassle, not much traffic. So let me leave this traffic road and go there. No, you don't do that, right? Because destination is what is most important, like that. So similarly, in uh, material world, the path of sense enjoyment may appear sometimes, you know, like very uh, lucrative or it may appear like in bhakti there are a lot of difficulties, I have to manage my spiritual life, material life, both the things. So let me just take another path. No, that's, that's just going to take you in the opposite direction. So let the path of traffic be also there, but let's move on to the destination.